Happy Halloween world. It's your girl need to be back with another video. Listen, man. Today is Halloween, y'all. So I'm super excited. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of scared. You know what I'm saying? So I just had this quick little bake session, you know, to myself vibing out. Didn't really get to be with the kids today, but you know, it is what it is. So, man, since it's Halloween, you know, I thought I should come to the table with a little horror story. You feel me? A little Halloween horror story about something that really happened to me. Now, disclaimer, y'all. I know a lot of people don't believe in all this. I'm not telling y'all to believe in nothing. Trust me, I didn't even believe this my damn self, like, but it was told to me after the fact. So, I know y'all done seen the title, y'all done seen the thumbnail. Y'all like, hmm. This really happened to you. So, yeah, this really happened to me. And I'm going to break down on how it happened. So, for everybody that clicked into this video, if y'all ain't subscribed yet, man, subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notification bells on so y'all can know when I'm dropping a video. And don't forget to like it because, man, this going to get real. So, before I get into all that, I also got me a little snack, you know what I'm saying? Because you girl has a little... Got the little munch bags, you know what I'm saying? Got the little ASMR with the bag. Oh, by the way, this is white cheddar Cheetos with the bones and the skeletons and the skeletons and the bones, you feel me? So, yeah. When I tell you, this has to be the scariest, most unrealistic thing that has ever happened to me. So, like I said, mind you, I grew up in the church. You know, I went to church every Sunday with my grandmother, my big mama, as we call her. You know, we was at vacation Bible school, all of this stuff. And, and neither one of them situations or in any congregation did they ever tell me in any sermon that voodoo and you know, dogs and having food, all that. It's all mixed in. No one warned me about this. So, you know, as I grew up, I was sheltered. Like I told y'all before, I was sheltered. I jumped off the porch late. When I jumped off that thing, I just, boom, I took off. I was running. I was gone. Didn't know what the hell I was doing. So, I got myself into a couple situations that I ain't really proud of. So, yeah, this is how this came along. So, Fast forward, I'm like 19, 20, barely 21. I meet this little, you know, this little, yeah. We getting in now. We talking. We getting serious. We know what it is. Me, mind you, I've never had a girlfriend. None of that. You know, I was fresh out the closet, you know, doing me. And I didn't know who the hell I was. So... We doing our little do did it. Apparently, even though Chick was younger than me, she spun the block a couple times, if you feel me. So she done did this before. Her mama done did this before. Sister. All these people done been put up on game on how you know. We ain't want nothing now. So now that I know after the fact, ain't nobody ever tell me don't eat your grandma food. Don't eat that grandma food. Don't eat that grandma food. Don't eat that mama food. Don't eat that sister food. Don't eat no food. Especially in spaghetti or some rice and cheese. Don't eat that. But me, I didn't know. I like to eat. So, I ate it. So, I'm just, you know, unknowingly, I'm getting sucked into the pattern. Like, I'm in the, I'm giving these people money. You know, my car, all type of stuff. Like, I'm really outside being the biggest quackster ever. You feel me? The biggest duck, athlete. You feel me? So, she got crazy. You know, once smoke use you up, you know, on to the next. But as I was trying to overcome some things, as I was, you know, going through my movements and trying to do other shit, I started losing everything. I lost my job. I had to move back home with my mama. I ain't had no car no more. Like, it had got real. You know, it even started affecting my, my outside life where, like, I couldn't sleep. I was having panic attacks. Like, shit was getting real, and I had no idea what the hell was going on. So, 
I was just going through it. And I know a lot of y'all probably ain't heard of these dreams, but it feel like a hag riding your back. It's like, when you know you up, but you can't move, and it feel like something on you. A little dark, a little scary. Ooh. And I was going through all that, bro. I don't mind you. One night, I was asleep. It was like, it was like something just came behind me and was like breathing on my neck and I couldn't move I couldn't say nothing and in my mind I just started praying like I couldn't do nothing or I just started praying bro and when I opened my eyes it was like a, a black figure in front of me that there right there I man when I say I jumped up I got up out of there like literally like in a point two point seconds and I ran out that door and for the longest, I slept outside in my mama's car because I was so scared to go back in the room. And this was going on for weeks. I, I started drinking. I started, you know, doing other activities. You know, you know, them beans was popping back. You know, I'm from Louisiana. I'm from the boot. You know what I'm saying? Beans, ache. You know, I started doing all type of crazy stuff because I couldn't get my mind together. Like, mind you, I was losing everything. I lost all material things. I started losing my own mind. I started losing focus. Like, I really didn't have nothing to my name. You feel me? I literally wanted to. I felt like I lost everything. Because I had invested so much. I, I threw all me into that family that I, you know, that they sucked me into. And I, I didn't have a clue on what I was doing. So, mind you, a year and a half goes by. I don't know nothing. Every relationship I try to start just crumbles. I'm pushing people away from me. And I'm just starting to have pains, high blood pressure, all type of stuff just wrong. So I make this other little shop. Mind you, she go see this high spiritual lady or whatever you may call it every week faithfully. You know, I call her a psychic, but apparently she had medicines and all type of black witch medicine i'm not calling it black witch i don't know what it is but she was supposed to be a voodoo or a a spiritual for the good you know you have the good and bad and everything so apparently she was on the good side so at the time i had found me a job at walmart so little child i was talking to or whatever she made it clear that she go see these people and she asked me to go with her and i was like Nah, shout out. I don't, I don't, I don't mess with that type of stuff. I don't know nothing about that. Like that ain't what I grew up on. So I have no idea what that is. I ain't going. Don't, I don't look at it. Ain't nobody for putting no hopes on me. So mind you, I don't know if this girl had a, a piece of article, my clothes, or my jacket, or something. But the woman in her readings or tarot cards or whatever you may call it, she seen me. But she didn't know my name. She just called me Walmart, which is weird as hell. Like, bitch, my name ain't Walmart. But when she popped up, she seen me at Walmart. So she didn't know my name. So apparently she said Walmart. But I'm like, okay, what you tell is later about me? And she was like, I didn't say anything. So apparently the woman said she see us being good friends. She also seen the person that I was with was had a baby girl. And she was going to marry the... Uh, she was gonna marry the man that she's with and mind you this is my friend and the shot i was talking to they was doing all this same thing so i'm like my friend coming in saying some stuff that she went to see the lady you know what i'm saying if i ain't getting this miss i'm still let me back up so i have a shot i'm talking to she know about this person this you know terror reading person but my friend also go to see these people and I'm not going to see neither one. I'm like, can't nobody tell me to go see these people. But they knew something was wrong with me. But mind you, the shot I was talking to didn't know my friend go see these people either. So my friend went on my behalf as well. And I came up again as Walmart. Both of these people. So I'm thinking, okay, so this lady know who I am. And she know I'm connected to both of them. But she's not. She sees the bad in her but the good in her so okay so my friend he tells me straight up shawda i'm with it's not good for me she's gonna have a baby girl 
and she's gonna marry the man of her dreams and i'm like i don't see it i don't see it you know what i'm saying i, I don't see it i was like so i started making jokes i would go home with a knowing that we wasn't happy together but i just I, something in me just wanted to work like i had got tired so tired of losing everything i just wanted it to work so i was like babe somebody told me you got a little girl on the way and you finna marry this nigga like who what what do you marry like who you messing with like come on man tell me you got a man you finna get married <laughs> and you know she's just laughing off. i even listen to the stomach like hey baby girl like doing weird shit because you know i played it off as a joke mind you two years later guess what happens yes she got a baby girl and she's now engaged to the baby daddy and when it all i had forgot about it until my friend came back and she said you see what i was telling you and i was like damn you really did she really did have a baby girl and she was engaged to that man of her dreams which was also a sagittarius so in my mind you know they say shada was uh I think Aries or something like that. Aries, I think. And I'm a Sagittarius. And I was like, man, we compatible. But also, the guy, the Sagittarius. So it was the truth. And it just, like, it messed me up bad. So I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. She said, guess what? I went back to the lady, and she found out that one of the people you were messing with had put a hoax on you. I was like, Hold on. What you mean a hoax? At this point, I'm starting to believe what she's saying because you was right about the baby girl and the fiance two years before that even happened. So now it's like the hair is really up on the back of my neck. And I'm like, what you mean? It's like you ate some of grandma's food from your ex. And you started losing everything, having anxiety attacks. It's because you ate the food and then they put the spell in. And from that moment, you was tied to them people. I was like, it dawned on me. Like, when I left the area, I lost who I was. So, therefore, I lost everything I had. Anything I touched returned to dust. I couldn't even move on. Like, y'all, for two and a half years, I was stuck in the room having nightmares and you know i was just at my lowest frequencies i didn't know why i didn't understand it people man people were trying to pull me out the funk i couldn't get out the funk the funk tastic was attached to me and when she came to me she like it kind of took me because i'm like this it makes sense that's why i can't do anything but it also scared the living hell out of me because what i'm supposed to do so I still didn't go see this. I'm like, hell no, 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 hell no. I'm not going. Ain't nobody finna pay me to go see this. Like, she know too much. It's like, no, she might tell me. And then on top of that, if you know all that, if you see me, I don't see me. I don't want to know the future. I don't want to know what's in the cars for me. Like, back then. But now, you know, I'm kind of manifesting my own thing. But back then, I wasn't at the growth I'm at now. Back then, I was like, I don't want to know anything. I want to just live life and not expect you know know exactly what happened you know it's you you know you want to expect something but you don't want to want to know exactly what happened because you might mess it up or might you know just do some weird stuff because you scared so i didn't go see her but she went back and she told me to do some things and you know i just started praying and doing all that and it got lifted off me so for four years i was riding around living with a dark horse or dark spirit or something like that on me and i didn't know all because i ate the food so the moral of the story is listen people it's halloween it's the day where all the evil comes out of this I don't really celebrate Halloween, you feel me? I don't, I don't, that's why you ain't see me in no costume, you ain't see me, I ain't doing none of that. You know, I would've did it for the kids, they don't know 
you know, it's just all innocent for them. For me personally, I'm not doing any of that. I'm not fighting no darkness nowhere near me, especially on the journey I'm in now. I'm so high, more high vibrational than any of that. Like, my frequency is way higher than that. And I want to just say that. Like, but I just thought this was a good story time to tell y'all that you never know what these people out here doing, man. And when people say they do stuff, man, you got to be careful. You can't go to everybody's house and you can't eat everybody's food. Do not step your foot over them thresholds if you don't know what it's about. I'm trying to tell you now. You know what I'm saying? And this is for anywhere, everywhere. It ain't gotta be voodoo, voodoo, crudoo. Man, people just crazy out right here, man. And I ain't gonna even say crazy, just people just do stuff. You know, you don't know people's intentions these days, man. Right? So stay aware. Because I would have never thought, even when I was going through it, I would never thought it was what it was. But it is what it is. And I'm better now. And I'm doing better. And I'm living better. And. You see how your girl living right now, man. I ain't struggling for them. I'm also, I'm just out here growing. Just growing, living life, and enjoying every minute of it. That's why I talk to y'all and I come to y'all with the goodness, with the greatness. Man, this was a video I had to tell y'all. So, happy Halloween to y'all who really supported and really out there celebrating, you know what I'm saying? You know, I celebrate the good side of everything. But wait, you know, everything these I'm like Halloween ain't even Halloween how it used to be. Like, well I'm talking about it ain't even about spookiness no more, man. Have you been on Instagram? Like, Instagram, Facebook full of nakedness. Halloween ain't Halloween no more, you know what I'm saying? You seeing more ass than you see candy. I'm seeing more adult porn star dressing women strippers. Then blood kids and costumes. Like, what's really going on? Like, man, fashion over and really turned it up. I ain't no Wonder Woman was so sexy, you know, with her ass out like that. Like, come on now. We got babies outside. And then they putting all these, they putting fentanyl in the candy boxes, man. Stuff is crazy. Y'all stay safe out there, man. Y'all stay safe. <laughs> and it all. Till next time, man. It is what it is. Y'all be safe outside. It's your girl, Need to Be. And until next time, 